A very good afternoon to all at me, Auto Sales Master Qualifiers, and I'm so excited, so honored, and so privileged to be speaking to each and every one of these 400 over Auto Sales Master Qualifiers. I'm super, super happy for you guys. And um, by the way, my name is Celine. Okay, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Celine, and I'm Sharon Rose Poole. Today, I'll be sharing on a topic that everyone is facing right now, which is how to share from offline to online. And I'm here to prove that with little experience in this industry, whether it's it social media or multi-level marketing or any sort of marketing, okay, whether you have, it doesn't matter your age, it doesn't matter your gender, it doesn't matter whether pandemic or not, okay? I want to say that as long as you focus on your goals and you really focus on what you truly want, we will sure get to where we want. So I might sound a little negative, but what if I tell you that right now, right now, there's this very moment, my mindset is whether FMCO, lockdown, MCO, art MCO, whatever MCO, okay, um, or not, the pandemic will not end in six months to one year's time. It will not end. But because we humans, okay, it will not end in six to one year's time. Because we humans, we tend to have this defense system against things that we are uncomfortable about. So this pandemic is uncomfortable. And so our natural defense system uh, against this is that we will wait. The word W-A-I-T. Wait until FMCO finish, MCO finish. Then we will go for our home party, we will go for our live events, OPP, we will do our sharing again and our seminars again. Some of us are waiting for that to happen. But honestly, I miss those times. I miss human interaction. I am, I understand all of you completely. But the thing is, the biggest thing that I want everyone to understand is that the danger of the word W. Okay, if you wait for everything to end, your team will wait with you. Okay, your customers will be not as excited anymore and you will stop growing. You will stop. Okay, and some of you might wonder, okay, how other teams are growing and still sharing uh, stably and everything and how come they can still go through this period without looking like they are affected? Okay. And you look at how they post on social media, you feel like it's so difficult, okay? So I want to tell everybody a story. Today, the same goes to when my mom, Celine's mom, asked me to go and learn cooking. So the first day, I'm sure that uh, the chicken that I'm cooking, I want to cook a good dish of chicken. It will be very dry or too salty. And the next day, I will burn my chicken. And the third day, uh, it will be too sweet. <laughs> All sorts of nonsense. And on the fourth day, it will get better. It will slowly get better and better until the fifth day, the sixth day, until I really do well with cooking. But what if I'm here to tell everybody is that if I'm not willing to start trying and be consistent every day, little bit by little bit, how can I know if I can't do it? So some people are telling me social media, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. It's too difficult. Okay. So let's say after this workshop, okay, everyone is motivated and inspired full on on fire. Okay. To do what everyone has taught, you know, you today, you know, and the next day you will ask yourself, ah, yeah, I will not be daring enough or uh, I will procrastinate. Or there are two types of people here I want to share, okay? Normally, I will share with my team this. There is people that are the victim group. So the victim group is here. Those who blame on your age and those who blame on your current circumstances and everything else, 
okay or victors so victim and victors okay and those victors are action takers they seize problem and they love taking on challenges and this is what we call growth okay and this is why i'm speaking to all the auto sales master qualifiers here today because all of you are action takers and all of you every single one of you are victors so here <laughs> and i'm not sure if any one of you have heard of avengers <laughs> from the Marvel movie, but I think it's a very famous movie. And the most recent update they have, or the most uh, crazy one they recently released was the Avengers Endgame, okay? Um, I want to tell everyone that, you know Thanos, which is the villain, the biggest villain, okay? It's like COVID-19, the pandemic. And we are like the Avengers, okay? I want to be Wonder Woman. <laughs> What is their tagline? We will do whatever it takes, okay? To save our atomy business. So make sure it's not just to save the atomy business, but to make sure it thrives during this period of time, okay? So as long as we know the mindset of victim and victor, we will know what to do how to remind ourselves not to be victimized by the pandemic. And now I'm going to teach everyone the steps. So what, what is whatever it takes? So previously, before the pandemic, okay, the strategy is to share through social media, of course, you know, just share and forward whatever people shared, or maybe sometimes review on certain products. Okay, we attend so uh hotel events. Our one day seminar, our success academy used to be in a hotel, five star hotel, and I really miss those moments. So those are before pandemic, and in person uh the appointments, home party, sampai mati, you know, follow up, follow up, follow up, yam cha, you know, home visits, uh WhatsApps and everything, V chat, everything. But I want to make sure everyone from before the pandemic knows that, okay, we do not need to just wait until pandemic ends. We can be victors and during or even after the pandemic strategy is to share through social media even more crazily. So if last time you used to share one post, now you share two posts a day. And uh, on social media, you will be really, really focusing. That is your work, okay? And the second thing, Zoom party, okay? A lot, it sounds like Zumba, <laughs> but it's not, okay? It's not the cha cha, it's the z Zoom party, okay? Sampai mati. I want to tell everybody this is something that blow everyone away, okay? So please make sure you watch through and focus through the end. So during the pandemic, follow up, follow up, follow up, and also WhatsApp, video call, VChat call, as long as you know you're able to reach out to your customers and make sure you hold on to them so the follow-up is very important but i i want to be explaining today the three strategies that everyone can bring home okay so what does it mean by everyone can bring home is that right now at this moment if you're not holding your paper and pen okay you're not holding your paper and pen and writing this down you will forget. <laughs> so please, everybody, give your go and write down, go and prepare your uh, paper and pen, and um, and apply. Very importantly, is apply. So remember, as I mentioned, we are victors. We are action takers. Okay, the flow from offline to online. Okay. As we all know that social media is the key right now. And for those who are on social media, even before the pandemic, lucky you, okay? But for those who are not, and they they just started their account, maybe they just started their Facebook account, your Instagram account or whatnot, I want to tell everybody, it's never, never too late. But it's a must right now to do that, okay? It's a must right now to do to activate your accounts, okay? And to survive this pandemic together through social media, 
okay? I can say the mindset that I teach my team is to treat social media like your Atomy app, okay? Not to capo, okay guys? Not to capo and see what is their latest update, but to help build your business. So I have a few rules, okay? So get ready everybody, okay? I have a few rules that I teach uh, my team, okay, as we go through our weekly or monthly meetings, we will plan out together, okay, what is uh, what to do for our social media goals, our Atomy PV goals, and our team goals, and so on. Okay, so these are the few rules. First is to make sure all your customers add all of them as friend or following, fo follow them on Instagram. Because right now, the right the follow-up way is okay to post pictures no kidding okay is to post pictures on these platforms okay to post pictures post videos post reviews or post all of this post about your life okay so most of everybody is your life it's uh atomy products eat rest at home exercise all of that okay so that is the first one which is at all okay at all the second is don't open the app just to capo, okay? So just now I was saying, don't open the app just to capo, but open the app with intention. So the point is win intention, okay? So when you work social media with intention, okay, social media will work for you. It will bring you PV. So if you mindlessly go and scroll, you know, check people's posts, see what's their recent plan they planted, all of that, those are consuming your time. But why don't they consume what you are posting? And that will, in, in the end, generate PV, okay? So the third point, system, okay? Give yourself a system Every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, you can post about products. Uh, you can post about how you you take this product, you maybe feel that this product is really good, and recently you feel like reminding everybody, even though it's oil patch, I posted it last week, I can post it again today, I can post it every day, okay? Uh, Monday, to Wednesday, Friday, already covered. Let's just say... Tuesday is Atomy Business, Thursday is your working life, Saturday is your lifestyle, you know, okay, so there is this quote, okay, that I want to, I want to share with everybody that is going to come up here, okay, he was a, this, this is a William Edwards Deming, okay, he was a statistician, okay, and business consultant that helped build the world after World War II, and he quotes that 94% of the problems in business is system driven. So if you today do not completely have a system, your 94% chance is <laughs> there is a chance of your business failing. So better have a system, okay? And the remaining 6% is people driven. So let me repeat the quote again. Okay, 94% of problems in businesses is system driven and the remaining 6% is people driven. Okay, so imagine without a system, it's like we drive without ways. Okay, so directionless, we do not know what to do and it's not consistent. Okay, number five is our mindset. And some of you guys might think that, uh, Celine, you are keep talking about mindset, you know, victim, victor, all of that. I say, yeah, that is the most important thing that I hold close to. So don't have the mindset that, you know, I am spamming Atomy or you are currently posting, posting, posting about Atomy, you are spamming, okay? Don't have that mindset, okay? Never know that because everyone is, you never know because everyone is quietly watching you. Okay, and once you and what is the sixth point? The sixth point is 
personal message and direct messages okay so once you post all these stories i'm not sure if you know the function of stories and the post the difference of it if you do not understand please please go immediately be action takers ask your upline what is stories which is there is a lifestyle way of sharing things about your life about whatever product you're sharing okay so once you post stories okay of your lifestyle you make sure you pm and dm everyone okay everyone that saw or liked your post that hasn't know about atomy yet and ask them if they've heard of atomy products that's how you don't just wait until they ask you sometimes you approach okay so the power of personal message and direct message that's what i do Okay, I do not just scroll and get bored. Okay, don't get bored. Number seven, okay, the rule is video. So what is uh, the fun the power of video is your chance to share this passion of yours. And it's not just through the face, it's your voice, okay? And about let's just say example a video of our irritable oil patch okay and how it helped you and how you feel about it how excited you feel and the functions of it within 30 seconds or one minute okay and you send it through whatsapp or facebook messenger it depends on you that's how that's how or even stories or even posts it doesn't have to be so pretty you know you don't have to you don't have to have a advertisement company doing your videos you need to know that you have a phone camera just take it and yeah just take the video and just sound excited okay so that is the video part number seven okay number eight is 80 percent of the time they would want to purchase it after all of that rules you know all of that consistent posting and everything 80 percent of the time they will want to buy but the remaining 20 percent just need you to tell them the price only so after after maybe you tell them about uh atomy and everything you just tell them hey the price is like that how how about i help you register a membership you can go ahead and buy yourself online so this is the interesting part about atomy is that you know you don't feel that stress of earning their price difference so just be daring okay and i would like to emphasize on this social media part because just now i was saying there's three parts so the first part is social media the second part is zoom party the third part is follow-up right so the social media part there's another part that i want to share about personal branding why is social media so important because there's a saying that people buy people and not the product let me repeat that okay there's a saying that people buy people and not the product so everyone needs to understand that why your neighbor will choose to buy from someone super far away and not you okay because the person they see is very convincing on social media and that creates trust and reliability and some of them will say that social media portfolio our social media okay is something like our resume you know what's resume our cv okay our followers and friends and uh whoever okay it's like our boss our employer future employer they are they and when they like us they will want us they want to purchase from us okay so it's not too late to post your cup of arabica coffee or that have him selfie selfie <laughs> okay or that recent vitamin c testimony from your customers do it now okay not tomorrow not later and i just want to give everyone a challenge because I feel like I'm so excited, right? I want to show everybody the importance of action now. So don't just listen. Right now, when you are listening to my class, if can, just take out your hemohim, take out your vitamin C, do a selfie, and just take. 
or just take it like uh, you're holding on to it. I'm taking my vitamins daily immune uh, booster today. Something like that. Just do it now and hashtag Atomy ASM. And let, I want to see how many of us are action takers, are victors from this 400 people. And yeah, <laughs> okay. The, the another rule that I want to share with everybody about postings is the 80-20 rule. It's a social media rule that says that, okay, social media posts should be useful to your audience. Okay, 80% of your social media posts should be useful to your audience, meaning it educates, it entertains, or it offers a solution to their problem. And only 20%, okay, explicitly promotes your atomy business. So let me remind everybody, your post should be 80 and 20. So if you just constantly post only 100% social media, that is completely, everybody will be like very bad song you. But right now, the rule is 80, 20. Okay? And other than posts, we have stories. There is a difference between posts and stories, which is, as for stories, is the food that we eat, uh, the type of exercise we do at home, the activities that we do, Zooming, we lead a team, uh, family time, and etc. And some of everybody will say that it sounds like hard work to post, keep posting, 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 posting. And I say, yeah, it is very hard. But if you want to make it easy, also can. How? Your mindset. If you today think that this task is very hard, then it will be times 10 harder than it actually is. But if today you think that this is an easy thing, you just need to be consistent, okay? That's the only thing that is maybe a little difficult because it's something new. Then it will be times 10 easier than how it's supposed to be. So for some people, mindset, okay? Mindset. Because why I say this hard work is worth it, because before the pandemic, we used to travel, okay? We used to go through the jam, we used to meet groups, and we used to uh, yam cha, and all those efforts, okay? We yam cha in person, uh, and all those efforts, okay? It's all converted to social media, okay? And on your social media, that is how how you actually did you in replacement of what you did previously before the pandemic and the following next point that i want to share with everybody is zoom party sampai mati <laughs> oh my gosh it is a very very real term and i want to teach everybody this because why it's super important how many zoom parties you do Today, this week, this month, it will determine how you survive through this pandemic. Because some of the customers, they might want to know more about other products like skincare, like supplements and whatnot. And I will normally invite them for a weekly product Zoom party. And I also have a few rules, okay? So for the first one, I have like around eight rules. Here, I also have a few rules, okay? The first rule that I want to share with everybody is mindset, okay? So we all have this mindset that we cannot convince people to buy things over Zoom. Some of them, they'll be like, Ayah, uh, I do so many Zoom also, like cannot sell anything one or like cannot share with them or like they are not convinced or anything. I want to ask everyone, okay, in this Zoom right now, can I ask, do you all cry or do you all laugh or do you all feel sad or happy when you watch movies? How are they able to do that to us, movies, movie viewers, okay? Because they are prepared. The word is prepared, okay? So your mindset needs to be prepared, okay? And to prepare to do what? So the following few points, first thing first is to feel confident and to be confident. The most important thing. They can see your posture. Today, if I am slouching, I'm talking like this. Hi, everybody. Or I'm talking like this. Confidence. And you make sure you've done your homework, okay? Practice 
your points about all these products and share what this person wants to know about like if it's Hamohim, then ready your slides, your testimonials and your information. Get ready in your mind. Don't just wait, wait for the durian to run. <laughs> it's not going to happen. The second point is 120% of your effort. So we need to be, normally in home parties, we are 100%. But now we have to give 120% of our effort. Okay, why? Because I can I give you an example. Normally during Zooms, I sweat. I sweat like right now. Okay, actually, honestly, I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sweating inside because why? I'm very excited. I want to give 120% of my energy and I so that I can let y'all feel that I'm very excited over this product. It's not extra at all because Zoom actually cuts off 20% of their, the whole real-life physical experience, okay? It's reduced by 20%. So remember, 120% of your effort. We need that, okay? If can, 200%, <laughs> okay? So the third point is set ground rules. What does it mean by set ground rules is before entering the Zoom, your customers need to be prepared not just during the Zoom, your work is not just during the Zoom, but it's before the Zoom, you need to let them know that it's a must try their best to open their camera. I want to tell everybody that opening the camera will make a huge difference of how they focus or concentrate on what you want to say. Maybe if it requires 120% with video on, okay, if they turn off their video, your voice and your Zoom session needs to go up to 300%, which is literally almost impossible. So I hope everyone understands that to make sure they remind their customers, try their best to open their camera so that we can share better as well, okay? To ensure that all information are passed on accurately, okay? And also another ground rule that I normally set for my uh, customers before they come in is... Uh, hi, is it okay if you uh, come in five minutes earlier because everyone will be on time and we will start on time so that we don't wait for everyone because time is of essence. We don't waste anyone's time. So all these ground rules, okay? The second ground rule that I normally set. And the fourth point that I want to share with everybody, I want to share with everybody is one of the key factors. So everyone knows what is the five senses. But they do not know the importance of these five senses, which is hearing, touch, sight, taste, and smell. Okay, so I want to let everybody know that even though they can't touch, they can't smell you, they can't taste, you can do it for them and you can explain it for them. It's very, very important for you to transfer those emotions of excitement excitement <laughs> and um, all those all those through the zoom is not just some of some of you guys you know you, you only show me half the head until here your screen is here how how does your customer see your facial expression how do they see your body language how they see how they're gonna see what product you're gonna sell so that itself it loses the point so i hope that everyone knows to share intentionally through the five senses. Remember every time you zoom, five senses, five senses, five senses, okay? And bring feelings into your zoom. It can be happy, excited, okay? I'm very grateful that you are here, you know, giving me time and everything. And can be said as well. How is it going to be said is maybe you share your testimony about maybe previously for me is my dad had a cardiovascular disease which is a minor heart attack maybe four years ago so when when we share that the 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 audience will actually flow with us and it's not just information hemohim is hemoglobin da, 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 da. no it's not gonna be like that it's not just going to be information no 
I want to share. I want to share with everybody most effectively. If you've done your job well, is true feelings and and really your own experience. Okay. And the following last point is to interact and ask them to type into the chat box. Make sure they type whatever questions they have or whatever that uh you are sharing. Let's just say just in case they get get just in case they do not get the information. So what I normally do is right now I want to remind everybody whatever that I just shared confidence. Can everybody type confidence? 120, set ground rules, five senses, feelings, five. All of these five points into the chat box. So they will naturally catch what I we just shared. So like just now, I just shared five points, right? You all remember again, what is the first point? Confidence, 120% of your effort, okay? 120 effort, okay? Set ground rules, feelings, five senses, and that's how you do it, how you make sure they really bring home or really want to try your product, okay? So this is this is how you really grow in, during this pandemic. And the second thing is teamwork. So I after the personal check, okay, we do this thing called teamwork as well. Okay, I believe in this so much. Why? Because I always invite a few of my leaders and I always train them as well to challenge themselves to share and to give uh, time to Zoom parties. Okay, and it will give it will give so much dynamic to the Zoom. It's not just me sharing, but a few speakers sharing at the same time. Because if one person, we have to shout. But if in a group, we whisper, they can still hear. So example, person number one, leader number one can share about vitamin C, about her experience. Hem, uh, person number two, share about hem or him. The person number three, maybe myself, I share about marketing plan, company intro, all of this. So it will bring a whole new different dynamic to the Zoom. Which everyone wants to know. It, it's not just Celine is talking, you know, there is another person talking, there's another person talking, and they're like, wow, this is interesting. It's not just Celine is speaking. Okay, so that is for my Zoom. And my last point, okay, which is online follow ups. Ta da! <laughs> it's very, very, very important. Normally, we fo- uh, without pandemic, we follow up through Yang Cha, we meet at their house, we share, we let them try the product, test it out. But now, we can only do through social media, WhatsApp and WeChat. Okay, so these are the few rules that I will I will list down and share with everybody and I hope everybody learned something today. So is everybody learning something new today? If yes, please type in the chat box, yes! Okay, so for this online follow-up, how do we do it efficiently and very effectively maximize it, okay? There are some people that do online follow-up, the result is like that. But why? Some of people, they do online follow-up, the result is so much different because they are not evaluating themselves. So I want to share the first thing to do is to have a system to follow up. Like what I say just now, the person that quote, okay, the major 90 Four percent of the problems in businesses is system problems, systematic problems. So please create a system for your follow up. Okay, consumer list that, uh, so that you can never ever neglect even one customer or one consumer. Okay, the second is to make sure that using this list. Okay. All your consumers know of the new products that are launched. Like example, the psyllium husk. There's so many new products, uh, Synergy and all of that. They used to use Absolute Set and now they can try Synergy. And how to do that? Make sure they know. They they are educated. Okay, that's your, your sheet. You know, that's very important. We have to have that system. The third thing is... Communicate to build relationships. I think I've mentioned this in my previous talks before, but communicate to build relationships is not not like this. Hey, Miss, uh, recently we have a new 
new product, uh, this so this this synergy and pill. No, care about them. Ask them, uh, have they eaten? And they will share with you their story. And how's the skincare? Hey, we recently have a very good new product. Share them testimony. And tell them the few main key points. Don't need tell them hambalang all the ingredients, everything. No, don't do that. Okay? Share about your experience. And they will want to try. They will want to know more. And then you can send them some videos. Okay? From then on. And you can also video call consumers. Communicate through to build relationship. How I normally do that is I seriously have a goal for myself. Every day, I will video call five of my consumers. Five of them, okay? And uh, either either to ask them how are they, use the, have, have they been using the product, any problems they occur recently, whether is it pandemic, atomy product related, it doesn't matter because it's building your reputation, your trust with them, and your reliability with them. For that is very, very important. Today I call you I call you every three weeks. I call I, I WhatsApp you, I become your friend. I give you extra value. And other than comparatively to maybe another person that don't want to communicate, it's just selling, it's just a transaction. They feel like it's a transaction, they will leave. Okay, so for the following point, how to online follow up is add them into product sharing, FB live sharing groups. I'm telling everyone here, all of this is homework. Okay, if you all can catch every single, do every single thing, even let's just say you do 50% of what I do, you already see results in half a month or maybe one month. Okay, but I want to say very important is actions, okay? And number six is solve their problems instantly or cons constantly so that we can create, what is that? Just now I keep saying trust and reliability. So make sure if consumers or even our, anyone at all, they ask us a problem, we need to solve it. We need to have proactive to solve it. It's not just a problem. Ah, so difficult. I, I want to procrastinate until tomorrow only reply. No. Okay. No, don't do that. Because it will actually create a gap between you and your consumer's relationship. Okay. So I'm drawing to a close for my uh, sharing. And I want to share with everybody that today... um. I didn't just have an overnight success or just suddenly got all these points, okay? Suddenly, it will, it just popped into my mind. No, I'm not like that. It wasn't like that. The journey was that in the beginning, nobody acknowledges. Nobody, okay? Nobody will entertain you to buy things or uh, anything. So I want to tell everybody, expect rejections and expect nobody Okay, because your brand, let's just say Celine's brand, will not become a superstar overnight. It requires hard work. And I had so many moments when I actually had to doubt myself if, because I have friends judging me, judging, talking behind my back, saying that I'm so naive doing this and it's very useless. Or oh, even some of them will be saying that Celine's posting is very annoying and is spamming. But now that I have my way, now that I have my way, I have done my best creating the best results within my peers. I can tell that. I, I can tell everybody that uh, uh, it's not this, this result is not something I want to just, uh, you know, I, I, do, I want to be so proud of or be arrogant about. No. But I want to say that even though I have such or, ordinary, uh, what is that, abilities, I can say that I, I can say that I was very, very proud of myself for really pushing through and uh, persistently making sure that I didn't give up, even though it was very difficult. So do not give up when you have not even started. Okay, do not give up when it's difficult to post and just remind yourself that of your goals because that's what I did and I ended up where I am today. And so I'll end with this quote 
okay, for everybody. It's by the same author as just now, okay? It's not enough to do your best, but you must know what to do so that you can then do your best, okay? So to all victors and all action takers here today, I hope that you know what to do, okay? And now go and do your best. Thank you so much. My name is Sherry Rose Fu Celine. You can find me on all my social media platforms or whatnot. You can say hi to me. And if I respond, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you so much to everybody um, for listening. And yeah, thank you so much. And thank you so much for everybody's uh, time. And looking forward to seeing everybody in real person. Let's conquer these tunnels together, whatever it takes. <laughs>